So let's go out here and see what these batteries are up to. My Ampertine, my Ampertine batteries with my Ampertine, Ampertine charger. So this charger is putting out 41 amps. 40, that's the temperature. I don't know the conversion in my head. We're already up to 14.1 volts. So uh, just a short period of time, these batteries are getting their charge. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me? I'm pretty good. That's kind of a mixed bag. My friends Frank and Tammy, they're leaving today. So they're gonna load up their RVs and trucks and side-by-sides and Rikers. They're headed back down to Apache Junction for the uh, the winter. Well, Frank and Tammy are leaving this morning. He's gonna back that sucker out. All the way out. Next time, when he comes in, he'll back in and park where Debbie's van's at. You built a wall up here beside your your path. It's beautiful. Thank you. Not done, but no, no. It's a it's a, it's a project. Yeah, few more adjustments. Come on, Frank. I know you can do it. Don't hit that pretty Harley Davidson, though. Frank used to drive transfer trucks for Walmart for a living. She's a big one either 40 or 42 foot Imperial Holiday Rambler. He pulled it right out of there. No problem. Well, you know. All that worrying was for nothing. That wasn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. You just run over my lot. It didn't even break it, just pushed it over. <laughs> and you could have, you didn't have to cut it that close. I just was trying to take all the space on this side because I knew I was limited over here, but that's just enough to bump it out and get it up the road. That was amazing. But next just time, enough. when you visit me next time, back this sucker in. Yeah. Yep. Up here and swing it in and back all the way in. What year is what year is your uh, Holiday Rambler? Oh one. So oh one. How many miles you got on it? Fifty seven thousand. It's a pretty sucker. You've been full time in four years. Four years now. I love having you here. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, buddy. I can't wait to come back. All right. <laughs> Give uh, Carolyn's work here, it's and she's been busy, hasn't she? Yeah, it's beautiful. I told her maybe put white rock right here, but she doesn't know what a clash. She wants to put like a brown rock in here. I didn't even know she was going to do the walls. I think she's just way too classy for us, maybe. That's what it is. It's a little fancy, right? It's fancy, yeah. I walked by here with my pinky up. Yeah, that works. Do you have any grudge for Pond? Yeah, we think it's her fault that she's bringing in the mountain lions over here. Yeah. She made them a big old sandbox. Yeah, it's their litter box. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying you're wanting to use like a brown... What kind of rock you want to put in this triangle right here? Uh, they used to call it Arizona gold, but I don't know what they're calling it now. It's it's uh, got a mixture of your purple and your yellows and your browns in it. Huh. And it brings it all in. What about over here? Same mm -hmm. thing Separate. over there. It would separate everything and, Separate. and make it stand out. With, well, that's not, you didn't think the white would work. You'd think that stand out too much. Oh, yeah. And then the glare off the sun, it'll put your eyes out. We've had a lot of fun going out hunting rocks, me and you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And trying to find some real, you know, flat, flat. and smooth. Yeah. It's a lot of work right here. You're quite talented. Well, thank you. You want me to pull your Riker up there for you? Good. All right. Oh, it's already running. Yeah. Um, this, uh, this is another story.
I've driven this thing quite odd. Okay. There we go. Eric came in yesterday. That'll sound right. Oh, I didn't have all the way down. Eric came in yesterday, unloaded into the Smurfy Smurf blue building. Brought his Harley. Y'all like my sexy trike? Y'all going my way? You, Frank, and Tammy camped together for quite a while this year, didn't you? Yeah. Six months? Pretty much. <laughs> I'm going to miss them. Yeah, I am too. Like well, losing part of your family, you know. That's the hardest part about this, isn't it? Yeah. Take care of I got good friends right there. Well, it looks a lot more different with Frank and Tammy gone. They've been here maybe two months or so. But um, I thought I might show you some projects that I've got going on here at Vagabond. In particular, particularly, yeah, I think I said it right, on the Purple Tiny House. So, we've got some underpinning going on under the house here. I'm uh, wrapping the bottom of this with Reflectix before the metal's put on. Um, I saw a video on, I think the guy calls himself Boss of the Swamp, where he wrapped all his underpinning with that. And this was done in New Mexico where I had the bubble wrap foil stapled under underneath to the floor. So what you have is a reflective barrier that the mice won't get in. But uh, he was down in like very low temperatures, like minus 30, and underneath his house was not freezing. There's old Eric, the nomadic fanatic, working on his motorcycle. This metal here is done. Frank, the guy that did all my gravel work and stuff, he's a master of a lot of trades. So, yeah, just getting ready for, for cooler weather. We're not done. Like I said, I do plan on painting this after the underpinning's up. Penny, who is Deborah, Deborah's dog, she's found her a good place to sun today. Catching a few sun rays, staying warm. Tucker's keeping Debbie company. <laughs> Poor baby May Mays. Frank and Tammy, when they left, they had to take her her outdoor rug that she was using. So I've got a new one on order. Get up there, baby. Come on. No? Tucker, you're not the baby. I, I am today. So you may remember my little G stove that uh, I purchased several years ago. There goes Eric. Um, and I built this little table to hold it. Well, I never installed it with the colder weather coming. I'm finally going to install it. But I ordered a, uh, a stainless steel table, 36 by 24, that uh, I plan on putting under there uh, today. So uh, that's one of my projects. My other project, we've been storing some, uh, well, Eric's got a few cardboard boxes in here that we're gonna take to the dump here soon. It don't take long for your workspace to get junky, does it? Here's the stainless steel table I'm gonna be messing with today. 24 by 36, about a hundred bucks on eBay, but, uh, you may remember my mobile 
amper time, what do we call this thing, a power cart? Yeah, yeah. Um, I had some wires cut for it. I've been putting them on. And I was a little bit worried for safety. I had a few questions, uh, mostly about grounding, that I wasn't too sure about. Right up the road here, about four miles, uh, is a solar and wind shop. Uh, they do installs, they do repairs, they work on generators. It's a real handy people to know. So I stopped in to see if uh, I could, you know, they would cut some wires for me. We got to talking about what I was doing. Well, the guy that uh, runs the place, his name is Daryl. He said, I want to see what you're doing. And so <laughs> took uh, my friend's uh, Frank's truck up there. Uh, it's been about a week ago. And... Uh, Anyway, this is what he, he came up with. Before I forget, I'll show his card. Alternative Energy Discount. Uh, Larry, a real helpful fella. I uh, like him a lot. Daryl, real nice guy. But uh, they do uh, solar, they do wind power, uh, batteries, inverters, all that good stuff. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty lucky they're just right up the highway. So Daryl said, I want to see what you're doing. Bring it up here. And uh, so I brought it up there. He said, I won't charge you that much for hooking all this up if you like. And uh, I was like, okay. So he put on this electrical box here with some breakers. It's made by Midnight Solar. And years ago, I bought a Cobra 1500-watt uh, inverter used off of ebay uh i think i gave 60 dollars for it um running a cpap at night i've always had a backup to a backup to a backup well this is one of my backups when i was traveling now i'm going to put on a much better inverter when i find one i like that fits but uh i got a main breaker here and I got some places to put on a, uh, a charge controller. Something about mounting a charge controller on here. Let me show you my, uh, my charger that Ampertime sent me. So this is Ampertime's 40 amp battery charger. Uh, it's made for the LifePo 4 lithium batteries. Um, it's got a uh, a quick disconnect that Daryl wired directly into my breaker box here. So I can charge. All I got to do is plug in. And this thing is really, really fast charging up these amper times. One thing, I, I'm glad I let him do this because I wasn't too sure about it. When he hooked up this inverter, he said the wires going to your inverter from lithium batteries need to be the same length. Now that's something I didn't know. So I'll hook up these batteries here pretty quick before I get into that project. And uh, I'll show you here. Now Daryl hooked all this up for me, but I had to take it apart to transport it because even though these batteries don't weigh that much, you put four of them together with a wagon and all this extra stuff here, uh, you don't want to pick it up when you can take it out and do it piece by piece. So I'm going to put these wires back up here and turn it on. Okay, I've got the Ampertime batteries all wired together here. A little dusty here in the shop. Makes these brand new batteries look old, but they're not. But uh, Ampertime sent these neat little caps to protect. Well, that's going to be fun to get. To protect your, uh, you know, laying something metal across here and shorten it out. So let me get them on. Don't these caps look nice on here? It's the little things, you know. Let's turn this thing on. Okay. Okay, let's turn this on. 
One thing I liked about these little Cobra inverters, now they're not pure sine wave, they're modified. Um, you can, I, I ran my CPAPs with this, with one just like this in my BT Cruiser, and uh, it performed flawlessly. And one thing I like about it, you got your display, it shows your voltage right there. So these could use a little bit of a charge to get them up to 100%. But uh, Amper Time is having a sale on these, and I'm gonna put a link in the uh, description down below. These batteries are costing about half uh, what you would expect the uh, lithiums to cost. And I know several people that are running them that's having very good success. So if you're thinking about purchasing these, please click on my link below and uh, it'll help support the channel as well. I'm an affiliate now for Amper Time. All right, but uh, this project's going to continue. I may, well, I am going to get a pure sine wave inverter that fits in here. And I may get a sine wave inverter charger combo. Hadn't decided. But uh, this little project's coming right along. Yeah, what, what are we going to call this thing here? Battery? Cart? Battery? Wagon? I don't know. But I rolled it over here next to the purple tiny house to charge it up. I got the uh, charger plugged up here to the wall. Got the cut on switch back here I'm gonna charge all these batteries up there she goes I don't have a lot further to go they're, they're going so all I got to do is find me some kind of ramp or something to get this cart up onto the uh, the porch here the purple tiny house so I can take it inside and be protected from the weather and the cold. I've got the battery wagon over there charging. Let me get started here on this table. They put enough tape on this thing, didn't they? I went to the flea market and saw Koi and showed him my knife and my blade was dirty. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> but, uh, that's all right. Yeah, I thought I'd like the, uh, the other blade better, the Damascus steel. This blade's dirty again. But I like this uh, high carbon stainless that he has. And people keep asking me, they, where's his website? I want to order one. You can't. He's old school. He sells at uh, uh, two-way shows and uh, flea markets. Did you come to help? You did. This boxed up nice. I, I agree with that. Looks like somebody took their time boxing it. You're so smart, Martini. You know what? This thing's a lot more heavy duty than I expected for a hundred bucks. Putting it on, putting it together like this. You got to slide this over these posts and tighten it down. Only problem I see, I'm missing about three of these set screws so far. Pretty easy peasy. Setting it over like this, so I'll get it lined up, get it tightened down. Dad, you need to see what Martini's barking at and everything. What is it, Martini? I smell a mouse. Well, baby, it's cold weather, and they're going to be coming in here. I got some traps set up just coming that I want to set up. Penny's getting in on the action, got her shackles up. I wouldn't do that, Penny. I wouldn't do that. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you, Penny. That old dog better watch where she goes. I'll send you home running your mama. I, I'm the boss around here, Daddy. And, 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 and I'm security, but, but she's my boss. Well, I was sitting there complaining that these set screws were missing. 
but I filter it through the box and the trash and some were just loose in the box and I was able to get every single one. Okay, I got the table in the purple tiny house here. It's quite a bit higher than what I got. Hmm. So I gotta take this table out. Okay, watch out, buddy. I'm gonna set this fireplace stuff right here, wood stove stuff right here. These stoves weigh almost nothing. They're made for like putting in a, a tent you know, the tents that you could live in, but uh, do fine for a cabin as well. Okay, the little uh, little wood table's out of the way. We put the stainless steel one in here. So yeah, it takes up a little bit more room, but it's not horrible. I got a place to put my firewood as well. Hmm. Well, the stainless steel came with a protective coating. And what you see here is about 30 minutes of work trying to remove it. I don't know how long that table was in that box, but uh, I think it's been quite a, a while. Well, that's not what I expected at all, Debbie. What do you think? I think it looks wonderful. It's much higher. Now you don't have to bend over and you can check your bread up there on the top, almost eye level. I thought that that pipe was going to be too close to the top up here, uh -huh. but I might put like a little piece of metal or something up here, but I'm definitely, Maybe. I definitely got to get a backer board to dissipate the heat. And, uh, I probably find some way of like, like little C clamps over these. Yeah. So it doesn't slide around. Yep. Folk, I got to, I got to point the camera where I'm pointing at, but, uh, yeah. If you haven't seen this before, this is for hot water. This is like a drying rack. This is my bread maker. I haven't used it, so I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna, and I got a place to put my firewood. Does that dog food smell good, Penny? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, you can't have it, he get out of there. I'm gonna tell Martini you were here. Uh-oh. You she better gonna, run. She's gonna beat you up again. <laughs> all right well i say that project so uh, today's project anyway was a success i'll hook it up on another video but i think that looks nice just got a little bit of a corner there to walk around it'll be all right huh i think it looks fabulous me too <laughs> all right well i think that makes today's video Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thank you, Debbie, for helping me. But uh, I'm going to end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ. He's my Lord and Savior. See you next video. Bye from Vagabond Base Camp.